A Mario 64 cartridge in mint condition recently sold for $1.5 million. Uh, let's talk about that. So retro games have spiked in value. This particular example is a bit of an outlier. It's in new condition, and I've seen some discussion that it's overvalued. Quick breakdown of how retro game sales works. Collecting games comes with a rating system from 0 to 10. 0 being like the game is recognizable, but broken, like if a dog chewed on the cartridge, and 10 being pristine, still in the package, undamaged, as if it traveled through time. The game that sold had a 9.8 rating, which is about as high as you can go for a game from 1996. A 9.4 rating sold in January 2021 for $38,400, and a 9.2 rating sold at $7,500 July 10th, 2020. So basically, it seems the people at the auction had incorrect information on the value of the product, and a lot of money on their hands. I mean, there's also the possibility that it was multiple collectors who wanted to have the absolute best of a relic, you know, more emotion, less business driven. What's interesting is this game isn't now worth this amount of money, it is emotion that really drove this. Free market of an auction decides the value based on supply and demand. The supply for this is relatively high. We'd call the things around it substitutes, where you switch to a substitute product, a 9.4 for example, instead of a 9.8 because it costs so much less. So the demand here was made by these individuals, the situation being an auction, and the wealth these collectors had. It's not actually that the game is highly valued. Now it could become that highly valued if this trend continues. I mean, the example of me drawing on a piece of paper, well that would be super low supply, but not in demand. However, that would change if I became important, or the world exploded and it was the last paper left. Then it becomes a cultural relic. Kinda like Picasso drawing on checks so that people wouldn't cash them, since they likely had more value as an original copy of a drawing rather than the money the check is worth. But in this case, it seems it was almost a sentimental value that drove the price of this game. 